Hey all, welcome back to the final part of Let's Play East 2. This time we're finally going to beat the game. So first thing I want to do is grab what's in here, and you shall get the shield magic. That is very important for beating the final boss. Not kidding this time. It's so much more useful than time magic, I promise. So right down here, Tarf, Mr. Adol, this way. At all. You are at all, are you not? We met before, though only briefly. I am Maria. Keith brought me here after I collapsed in the bell tower. He told me that my bracelet lay in pieces beside me. It would seem that it absorbed all the energy intended for me, ultimately saving my life. Time is of the essence. Do not tarry here. At all. This way. Keith. The goddesses are at the end of this passageway, and Gordo is waiting for you a bit further ahead. Farther ahead. Please hurry, Gordo. Hey, good to see you, Adol. It's me, Gordo, from Ramia. The goddesses are beyond this barrier, most likely, but I have no way idea how we can possibly get through. Hey, did you see something move over there? What could it be? have been? Was it a demon? Damn it, we've come so far. What do we do now? A black shadow was seen darting off up ahead. The good news is, someone was just here. The good news is, it's just Lilia. At all. My goodness, it's so great to see that you're alright. I'm sorry if I made you worry. After I was turned back, I got an overwhelming urge to see you, as if I were being drawn here. But that's not the only reason. I just felt like I needed to be useful in some way. And before I knew it, here I was. I was able to come all this way without any demon spotting me, and I believe this ring made it possible. When I was searching for you in the subterranean canal, I met two girls and they gave it to me. They said if you find the one you seek, please give this to him. Clearly you're the one they meant, so please take this ring. I believe it will be crucial in your quest. Pure. Receive the goddess ring. Let's go ahead and equip the goddess ring. It's sealed shut. Wonderful. The goddesses seem to be held in, seem held in place as if by an unfathomably powerful energy. All hail the power of darkness. All shall pray to the power of darkness. The goddesses have fallen to my strength, and their priests are dead. Humankind has lost its protectors. Now all shall kneel before me. 700 years ago, I was but a steep step from victory when those dastardly goddesses sealed me away in the inky void. My countless years of imprisonment and all those nights of humiliation, endless and deba debilitating, have at long last come to an end. Now the promised moment is nigh, the moment when demonkind irps, irps his man's place at the master of this world. That moment is here. My brother, in blood and in arms, heed my call on children. Let us teach humanity the true meaning of terror. I don't think so, demon. East is back where it belongs, and the priests are in attendance. Or did you forget that I'm a descendant of Tova? I'm sorry to be so late at all. Quickly, play the silver harmonica. It's time to remove the curse of the goddess. And I'll acquire the silver harmonica. So yeah, go ahead and equip that. 
Complete item log. At all, where have you been? It's me, Luda. I brought you the Clario shield. I think you'll need it in the coming fight. This is to be the last battle between demons and humans. Peace is within our grasp. Go ahead and equip the Clario shield. It is the best shield in the game. Now, at all, I've been hoping I would see you again. It's me, Fina. I'm sorry for not telling you the truth before that I'm not actually one that I'm actually one of the twin goddesses of East. Using magic to seal away the demons guaranteed that the seal would eventually be broken. If magic itself is not eradicated, this land will never know true peace. Beyond this portal lies a giant black pearl, which is the true source of the mag of all magic of East. That is the demon secret. You know, I just realized something. This is right outside of the mines, Raspin mines from the first, the abandoned mines from the first game. That's where we are, I think. That seems like it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just dumb. At all, you have done well to get this far. I am Rhea, goddess of East. When the demons were wiped out, we were the ones who were buried the Claria deep within the ground. The Claria was born of the demons. You see, and of man, the magic, and we deemed its presence a hazard. Hundreds of years passed in tranquility until the day Clario was excavated, mis identified as silver. Because the magic, this released dark fact, was able to, re to gain the edge he needed to break the seal. We do not have the strength to reseal the demon on our own, I'm afraid. We need the might of a swordsman to aid us in this, our darkest hour. You must somehow destroy the Black Pearl. Please wear my ring during the fight. It will weaken the demon. I will imbue your blade with the concentrated power of the Land of Ease. Radical. I didn't even get a level up from that. I am disappointed. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is it? What's wrong? They're the demons. Get back. What in the world? It must be. Darm is drawing the demons into himself to increase his powers. Keith, look out. Tarf. We are here. Why are they all here? Keith. We're here to observe Adol fight. So, Adol, we'll be rooting for you. Knock him dead, man. Literally, if you can. That's right, Tarf. Adol is marching alone into a fearsome struggle. In the light of all that, we too must stand and fight in our way, own way to lend him support. Mr. Gordo. That's exactly it. We may not be able to offer direct assistance to Edel, but that doesn't make us powerless. Let us pray for his success, then, if we cannot fight by his side, pray for East and for all the world to lend Edel strength. And you should offer your prayers to the surface world, to the world which East is being returned. Okay. Yes, let us pray. We shall pray that we have... As we never have before, we shall pray for unequivocal victory. I'll pray for Adol to be granted the knowledge and wisdom to overcome this difficult trial. I will pray for the light to eliminate the darkness before him. I pray that his resolve shall never waver and his heart shall never falter. I guess that just leaves me. I pray that Adol's sword be granted power beyond power. You should only get that scene if you have beaten the game once before. 
Now, before anything else, go to your items and equip this elixir. Go to your equipment. Make sure the shield magic is equipped. Enter. And I forgot to save. I am Darm. I am the source from which magic and demon kind alike were found, formed. My power is that which created Ys, and my power alone can sustain it. I shall consume you and your very soul, and you shall know true despair. This boss... is pretty easy. Yeah, all you really have to do is... Have the shield magic equipped, have the goddess ring equipped, and this boss should be no a pushover. Yeah. Okay. not screw this fight up yet. Oh, shoot. Oh, frick. All right, time to attempt number two. Let's do this. Which I am doing horrible at. At least this time I have saved before I decide to take on Darm. So yes, Darm is in fact the final boss. He is who Darm Tower is named after, probably. Well, probably, obviously. I also level up one level. Technically, the 51 is the recommended level for this. So now Dharma's halfway done. Cool. Doing much better this time than I was last time. Cool. And there's the elixir in effect. That's why I recommend saving it for the final boss. Whoa, I'm losing now, suddenly. Nope, we're doing just fine. Just fine. 
move on. Got ya. Darn. And my MP goes away. As magic is being depleted from the world. Atalus greeted by us with a sea of smiling faces. The goddesses, Lilia, and descendants of the pre six priests were there. Mr. Rattle. You did it, man. And guess what? Turns out I'm a descendant of one of the six priests myself. Priest Tada was my ancestor. Kind of cool, huh? The whole time you were fighting, I was praying that you'd be able to banish the Black Pearl from this world. Then I heard a shattering sound and I knew you'd done it. I knew everything was going to be alright. It'll all be peaceful like it was before. Finally, everyone can live in a world free from the torment of demons. I, I should be happy, but I can't stop crying. Tarf, please don't cry. If you do, you'll get me started too, and then I won't be able to stop. My name is Maria Mesa. The blood of Priest Mesa runs through my veins. The demons offered up sacrifices in hope of tracking down and killing the descendants of the priest. Darm knew what the goddesses were planning, and he feared they might succeed, as will he should have. I'm sure the only reason I'm still alive after the sacrificial ceremony is because the priest bracelet. Peace has returned, but at the cost of more lives than I'd imagine. I'm going to build a monument in Ken Penile of Lane to commemorate all those who were sacrificed there. At all, my boy, you did it. You really did it. My last name is Dobby. I guess Priest Dobby is my ancestor of mine. Who knew? The goddess has told me in a dream to come here. When I first met you in Romani, Ramia Village, I somehow just had that this feeling. I knew you'd be the one to guide us, the one to lead us into a new age of peace and prosperity. It's amazing, at long last, East has been set free of its ancient curse. It's like a whole new beginning for us. Oh, I'm sorry. I know I'm babbling, but I'm just so excited. In any case, I can't wait to get back home. Now that the shrine's free of demons, old man Rick will flip his lid. Adol, it's me, Keith. I'm no longer a demon, so I apologize if my appearance surprises you. Magic has vanished from the land, and with it, so too has the curse placed upon me. When I was imprisoned in Burned Bliss, I lost myself in the Revere. I remember when my sister was killed by the demons. I remember that she said what she said to me that even that evening six months ago, the day she was taken from this mortal coil. It was like her blood had stained the sunset, and as if life slipped from her body, she struggled to speak, and with her dying breath she said to me, I pity the demons. At the time I simply didn't understand. It was consumed by ang by sorrow and rage at her loss. So, the idea of pity towards demons seemed like nonsense. But now I've be been a demon myself, I think I understand. Back in Burn Bliss, when I held the Black Pearl in my demonic hands, I had overcome. I was overcome with dark desires. Demons are controlled by a bottomless well of evil intent. They are incapable of creation. All they are, and all they know, is destruction. But, Mer but Meryl loved the create. She loved... It more than anything, and she lacked pity for the demon, and she pitied the demons for what they lacked. My apologies. I don't mean to bring you down the mood. This is no time for such depressing talk. This is time for celebration. We have to overcome the greatest disaster we've ever faced, and we have to thank you for that at all. My words cannot express my our gratitude. My gratitude. At all, you really done it. I was standing in front of Darm Tower, and I saw the summit engulfed in light. And then you shot into the sky. Due to the finality of your victory, I feel certain that Asteria will soon will see many changes soon. Positive changes. Without the shadow of demons looming over us, people can stand on their own two feet. Now we can begin rebuilding. We have control over our lives once again. You are the one who reclaimed that right for us from the demons. Adol, what have you accomplished? What you have accomplished here is the true defender definition of heroism. Please stand with us here in Asteria. We need your courage to help us rebuild this ravaged land. We need you to keep us on the right path. You did it, Adol. 
Like everybody else, I had really I had a really odd dream before coming here myself. In it, the goddess has appeared before me and told me that East was returning to the surface, and I was going to the shrine. I woke up and looked up, and there it was, the land of East right in front of my eyes. I had to run like mad, and I just barely made it here in time for that final battle of yours. So, Adol, the magic that spawned the demons was the same magic that kept East afloat, correct? What an astounding power. It was made from our prosperity, and so quickly became part of our everyday lives that ultimately control us. And by relying so heavily on the power of magic, we sow the seeds of our own undoing. It really makes you think. Everyone owns an amazing debt of gratitude, Adol. Thank you. You've brought peace back to East. Congratulations. You've truly become a legend of... You'll truly become a love you've truly become a legend in your own time. Dogie's really eager to see you again, by the way. Adol, I'm so glad you're alright. When you were in the midst of the final battle, I thought my heart was going to explode. Maybe it did, and somehow I came back to life. Precious bean. I am, um, I, I, um, Gobin, you, you're mean. I'm at all, don't worry, I'm really very happy to see you, very, very happy. I'm happy to see you. After 700 years of separation, the people of East Mysteria and the rest of the world can reunite as one. Many glorious days away from now, far more now than ever before. From this time forward, there will be no more need for goddesses or priests. One by one, all will come to believe in themselves in this new age. <laughs> it sure is good to be at the end of a franchise, isn't it? I think we're third wheels here. We should probably let ourselves out. Good thought, Maria. At all, we're going to head back. This isn't the last game in the franchise. There's nine more games. There's seven more games. After this one. There's so much I wanted to say, I don't even know where to begin. After you rescued me from the depths of the shrine, I stayed at Jebba's house for a short while. I feel like I understand everything now. I never knew so many wonderful people lived in this world. There's no real need for goddesses or priests. And now that everything, I know everything, even the floating land of East will be a thing of the past, and Asteria becomes whole again. There are so many happy memories from being from my time here, but best will always be the time spent with you. I want you to know that more than anything else, during the time he spent here, I truly felt human. I must go. Rhea is waiting for me. I hope that you'll think of me from time to time, and when you do, you'll, not, you'll hope you'll remember me as a girl and not necessarily a goddess. Fare thy will. Athena. Alright, uh, talking time. Um, 
so this is the end of project two obviously um so what is there to talk about after this i've pretty much shut off everything in the game so the other really thing i can think of to really go into is details of next project which i haven't fully decided on i had decided on a game i went to do some test runs of it and i currently don't feel confident in my ability to run it i'm not expecting this video to be out for another three weeks though so it's not that big of a deal if i don't figure something out by this, so i don't not too worried about it right now i will have and besides i want to probably give this a month in advance anyway I mean, hey, I'm probably not going to upload for another week after this video is out anyway. Preferably. Um, my guess is... Expect something within... A week? Um, what would I think? Maybe give something a week after this is finished, two weeks? I don't know. I don't know what to expect. Thoughts on this project? Um, I think we had some mixed moments here. I Stridge of Noltia was really bad. I feel like I started to do really good. I feel like structure early in the project wasn't good. My attitude somewhat early in the project wasn't good, though I feel once we got to Palace of Shul Sol Solomon, I think that's where things start to take a turn for the better. Um... I kind of had some venting issues in my recording studio during the first few episodes, which in turn made things harder for me to record. I couldn't speak too well because I could hardly breathe. Though, <laughs> and I just need to call my apartment to like fix those vents every now and then every few months. I probably should have done that sooner. Um, what else am I can, what is there else I want to say? Um, if Project 3, if I get Project 3 done, I intend to go out and buy myself an Elgato so I can do some Switch games. Probably gonna do a Switch game for my third project. I seemingly am doing pretty good with this so far. I'm keeping a consistent schedule, which I think is nice. Um, I expect things to go well for, from here on. I'm not too concerned about things. The only other thing I can think of at this point is if I come up with an idea for what I want to do in the next three weeks, which I might. I might just do something a bit more goofy. It's not going to be another East game. I'm not going to move on to East 6 yet. That will be the next East game I do. Just for those of you wondering, not yet. And the reason I'm doing 6 next is because it's the first game in the next system of games. Um, E6 also happens to be my favorite in the franchise. Then again, I haven't finished 3 or Origin yet. But I'd say give it a... Next week I should decide on what I want to play. It's just something I've been pondering, and hopefully it'll be... Hopefully I'll have a decision, on my, I'll have a decision made up definitely by the time this is up. Um, no, no, no joke cliff clip at the end either this time. Nothing's going to happen like that. I don't want to be too snarky all the time, even though that's probably my personality. I just, uh, I think we'll figure it out soon enough. And we just watched an animated ending with Lilia and... Yeah, Lilia doesn't appear in future non-remade games. So, yeah, that's bad. So, yeah, I'll see you guys whenever I decide what my next project will be.